Good afternoon. Welcome to Mobile from Virgin Media. We now have six options for you. To check your monthly allowance, please press 1. For information on your bill or to hear what you spent, press 2. To check or update your contract package or buy a data add-on is 3. To check if you can use your phone abroad or get help with voicemail, messaging or data, press 4. If you'd like to make a payment on your account, press 5. Or for anything else, such as reporting your phone as lost or stolen, press 0. Thanks. I'll now transfer you to one of our team. And just so you know, sometimes we record these calls to make sure we're giving you the best customer service possible. We're yep. sorry. Right now our team are all busy, so it may take us up to one minute to answer your call. Hello, you're going to have to speak up because I can't hardly hear you. How can I help you? Right, um, I'd like to know, do you want to take me details or, or, or shall I, or, yeah. or um, do you want me just to tell you what it's about? First. Right, my me, me voicemail, right, I phoned up already, my voicemail, I cannot get access to it, right, I put in a put code, it just goes blank and and then it goes thank you for your finger and then cuts me off right so I can't get access to my own voicemail right now when people are phoning me up it, I'm not even getting a ringing on my phone it's just going straight to my voicemail and I've already phoned up about it and she says um, that they were going to phone me back today well I need to know what's happening. So, do you want to take my account details, or do you want to pass them on to somebody else who can who's, who'll be able to dig deeper into it? What's your mobile number? Oh seven nine five four. Oh seven nine five four. Thank you. First and last name. Okay. Thank you. And are you the account holder? I am the account holder. Okay. For me to access your account, I'll be asking the characters of your password. Yes. Let's start with number two. Could you please use that, uh, use that phonetics, like A for Alpha? Oh. And number four character. And number six character. Nothing. Okay, thank you. Let me just pull up your account right here. So you can access your voicemail. Right. It's not just about my voicemail. If you try to ring my phone number, it will go straight to the voicemail. Have you had anyone to, to do this to my phone? Because... I'm afraid not. Right, and I, I, how would you know that? Would you, put, one, would you put it on your system at your level? For this one, we don't let anyone access your account unless you gave us the password. You are the account holder, you are the only one who does this password. Right. Well, it's, it's strange that all me, all me, everybody who phones me up goes straight to my voicemail, and my voicemail has been hijacked. Okay, actually, this is only a technical issue. This is nothing to do with anybody accessing your account. We haven't changed anything in your, on our end. So if you're not receiving incoming calls, I'll check for you here. Hold on. Whenever you try to access your voicemail, does it ask you for a PIN code? Yes, it does. Okay, and what pin code did you put in? I put my pin code in. I'm not going to tell you what that is, am I? Is it telling you that it went through, or is it telling you that it's not correct? Right. It doesn't tell me that it's not correct. It doesn't say anything whatsoever. It doesn't. It just doesn't say anything. It st it then stays on for about say thirty seconds or maybe a little bit. Might might be about thirty seconds. Then it says thank you for thingy. Thank you for. Um, so it's saying as if I have been active on it. So it's logging me in. It's logging me in. It's not. It's not. So it's, it, because it's it's then saying uh, thingy and uh, thank you and goodbye. So it, it, it's logging me in because it wouldn't be saying it would be wouldn't be saying that it'd be saying I've put in the wrong password or something, but it doesn't say anything. When was the last time that you 
two days ago, yesterday morning, right, I, 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 my voicemail popped up as if I got a voicemail, right? But there'd been no, but there'd been no call associated with it. I looked, I didn't have a call, right? So I thought, well, that's strange because it only, my voicemail only comes up when I've got a missed call, obviously. And this didn't. And then I went to access that voicemail, and that's when I realised I could, it wouldn't let me on. Now I phoned straight up about it yesterday. It should be on, it should be a log on 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 for when I contacted yesterday. Have you just sent me a vo um hang on a minute, have you just sent me um I've just add Welcome to your voicemail. We've created a voicemail, your number is blah blah blah. Have you just reset the voicemail there? Yeah? Yes. Right. Now, when you've reset it, you haven't deleted any any uh, my save voicemails, have you? Because I've got some important voicemails on that. For this one, actually, the last advisor spoke with Earl, um, yesterday. Reset your voicemail, and once you reset it, it will delete any um every voicemail you have. No, no. Listen, I told you yesterday. Do not reset it. She didn't reset it yesterday because I told her there's important voicemails on there from people what I cannot get back. Really important voicemails. And I will be suing Virgin Media if you have deleted them voicemails. Believe me. Uh, can you tell me your name, please? I need to know your name. Yes, my name is Lindy. Right, Linda. I didn't tell you to. I have not just told you. And I'm recording this myself, by the way, because I know that you're recording. But I have problems accessing your record. Phone call. Who oh, is not? Sorry. Yes. Pardon? Customers are not allowed to record. Phone oh, who's told you that? Who's told you that? Um, who's told you that? That is part of our training. You're not allowed to record. No. Phone call. Uh, well, nobody's told me. In UK law. In UK law. If you are still recording this, I will hang up this call. I'm sorry. So, so you, you, so you record my call. Yes, because we are a company, we have the right to do so. Uh, and, and, and as an individual who's paying your company as a service, I don't have record. I've tried to get phone calls off, off you what you have recorded when I've been, been, been when there's been dispute. And I've not been able to access them calls, even during the data protection or whatever. I should be, or, or freedom, or whatever it is. I should be able to get access to them calls. It should be sub subject to UK law, seems as you, 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 you're working at UK. I will not argue, okay, Mr. I will not argue with you anymore, but we, you are not allowed to record phone calls, I'm so sorry. Right, well listen, what, what's your name again? Lindy. Right, Linda. I won't be speaking on behalf of Virgin Media because I'm going to put this voice, this one just for my personal thing. But this is now going on to social, this is going on to YouTube or something. And so you can, exp you, so when you... I'm sorry, I have to have this call right now. Yeah, you, 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 you,